hello friends welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to learn how we can create a login system so that the user can log in by name email or phone number for example if i type here the phone number and the password the user can log in and uh, the user type email address also they can log in for example if they want to type their email address and password they can also log in so let's see how we can uh, make this so let's start by installing laravel ui package for that i will type composer require laravel slash ui and enter Once the installation is finished, then we will type php artisan ui boot strap dash dash art to install the, our views. After that, we will type npm install and and npm run dev. So if we right now, if we come here to our resources views as you guys can see there's a new folder with the name of art all the uh, blade files the views are has been created as well as if i come to my app folder http controllers in here you can see there's a new folder as well with the name of art and all the controllers are inside this now uh, if i come to route web.php at the end of the my web.php as you guys can see it added a two two new routes one for art and one for home so our uh, installation is finished now we want to add one more column to our uh, users table for phone number because we want to log in with a phone number name and email address as well so let's add a new column in here so let's type here table string and phone and this should be unique as well because we will use it as a username to log in so now let's open a new terminal and migrate our data tables so for that i will type php artisan migrate and enter okay now if i come to my database here and select the users Okay, the phone has been created. Now let's go to our uh, register view. So in the views, art and register. In here, let's add the uh, phone field. So let's uh, copy email address. Copy this and paste it here. Then change email to phone. Now let's go to controller or controller register controller. In here we also have to add the phone. So here let's add the validation for phone. And we will say it's required. Then in here we will insert it into database. And one more place we have to add phone which is inside our model. So let's go to our users model. Models user and let's add it inside our label in here. So for okay everything for registration is I think set. Now let's open a terminal and in here let's serve our project by typing php artisan serve enter okay let's go here 
register to create the register form is ready now let's add our email our phone which is one two three four five six seven eight and our password click register okay we have problem in our here we mistype now let's go back let's press the register again okay we have successfully registered now let's uh, log out from here and create our login now let's go to our VS code and to our login controller In here let's create a new method with the name of login and request dollar send request inside here I will create a one variable with the name of username and assign it to request username the username that we will get from the request and one more variable with the name of password after this I will create my users and fetch my user from database based on the username so I will type user where email is equal to username or where name is equal to username or where phone is equal to username if any of them match then fetch the first one or get the first one user okay now when I, in here I will type my condition to check for the password so first condition I will check if it's null so I will type if user is equal to null which if uh, it is not found so it will bring incorrect username or password then I will type or if the hash if I uh, come to my database and refresh here as you guys can see the password change to the hash so in here I will type if not not hash check dollar sign password not equal to user user password in this case return back with a message and say incorrect username or password okay if the user is found and the uh, hash of them are same in that case I log in the user so out log in and user and let's import the this class also this too don't forget if my ID automatically imports the classes if your ID does not import so don't forget to add this two line in the top of your file so our controller is done now let's go to our web.php and create our routes for login so in here I don't need this one now now I will type route colon colon view login 
and this should bring or dot login page this file view views or login this file it should bring then we want for registration sorry for login post so I will type it out colon colon post login and it should go to login controller colon colon class to login method to this method login method after that I will create my uh, registration route so route colon colon view register and or dot register file same route colon colon post register and this time go to register controller and create method let's give them a name as well so I will name this route as register and this one as a login now let's go to our login controller and copy this field and then after that to our login.plate.php in here let's change all the emails to username because we want to log in by name phone number and email not email only so all of the places I will type username and one more thing that in uh, our web.php we have changed our route register so if we come in here in the state of array data we have to use request dollar sign request and in here remove all the requests and instead of dollar sign data we will type request uh, that field name and let's delete the, this once also okay everything is set now let's go to browser and test our login okay let's go to login so in here as you guys can see I have already written the phone number now let's type our password as well login so we have logged in because uh, if, uh, we did not redirect it anywhere in our login controller we just say odd login so that's why it's showing this now we have to create our log out also because if I remove this and type here home it will say the log out route is not defined so let's type our create our logout method as well so let's go to our web.php in here and type out colon colon gate log out and we will create it inside our login controller colon colon class with the log out method and we will give it a name as well name should equal to log out okay let's go to our login controller and create the log out method so in here we will type public function log out request or something waste and in here in here I will type odd and colon colon log out then return redirect to login page and let's uh, redirect in here also return redirect to home page so let's type here okay let's go to our browser again 
Now everything is set. If I get log out, we'll just change our log out to post and set up gate post. Okay. Now let's log in by a phone number. Okay. Now let's log out and let's log in via username so double a so in here i will type a a and i will type the password it's working and if i type the email address also so it should log in So it's working. Now let's uh, go and give it a wrong username and password. So in the state of this, I will type something random and enter. So as you guys can see, it is not allowing me to log in because the username and password is wrong. But if you guys have noticed, I have typed multiple times the username password wrong. It's uh, not uh, giving me time out. So it's very important point to consider. So in our login in here, I will add a middleware. I will type middleware. And the middleware that I am going to use, it's called Protel. Sorry for my bad English. So this one. And after that, I will say, allow it five requests per minute. So this is the uh, number of requests, which is five, and this is the time. So five requests per minute. Now, if I go to login page and type a random username and password five times, uh, it will not allow me for one minute. So three. Four, and this is the fifth one so now if I type this one as you guys can see it said too many requests so this is how we can create login with a name phone and email if hope you guys like the video if you have liked it don't forget to press the like and subscribe button